In this video, I'm going to show you maybe the most important function of the wind side of the CRP5. And this is how to calculate your heading and your ground speed. Given task, track, and the wind direction and velocity. For this example, we have a task of 155 knots. Track is 305 degrees. Wind is coming from 160 degrees and the velocity of the wind is 18 knots. So the first step is to put our task to the center dot. So 155 on the center. Then this, the next step is to put the wind direction and velocity. So wind direction is 160 degrees. So 160 degrees on top. So we have 160 degrees on top. I will show you how I put the wind velocity in order not to mess it up. So we know that from line to line, it's 10. So in order to do it more quick, I will put my dot to a bold line. So from here to here, it's 10. And from here to here, it's another 10. So this wall is 20. We have 18 knots. So 18 somewhere here. So I'm going to draw a little dot here. Remember, now we have to put the dot on our task. So our task is 155. Don't forget it. If you do it by this way, you can do it by your own way. Your own way. I will show you how I do it. So here, the next step is to rotate the wheel to our track. Our track is 305 degrees. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set here 305. We see that the dot is from this side that we subtract. If the dot was from this side, we're going to add. So here we have about three or four. I am going to put four because this is how I got a correct answer for this example. So three zero five minus four it's three zero one. So here the final uh, answer is 301 degrees and our ground speed here is 169er thanks for watching